Hello everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking, and it's time for more nap nap. Last episode we've dealt with CFW Trick and CFW Brave. I will be headed to the Gapane Field to finish off uh, CFW Magic. So let's do this. Let's do our best. One of those places we've actually seen a bunch of time now. I don't see them doing much variation over this. I've also swapped our party a bit, namely that we'll be using a lot of B characters, among others Falcon, Marvelous AQL and Kampa. We didn't see much of Marvelous AQL, so that's actually a good opportunity for it. And now the Kampa has Kampa Loveheart, well, that should go well. Speaking of, uh, you remember that uh, hot spring scene at some point? While I was looking at some of the saves, I saw that this section was actually named Obligatory uh, Hot Spring. So... The, the reason I wanted to mention that was because in the generation of Agarest games, uh, namely the first one I've played, which was the original if I'm not mistaken, they actually have that bit where during every chapter or generation of the main character, you actually get an, an offspring event with all of the various female characters which involve uh, minor male NPCs convincing the main character of actually peeping at them and then the event following its course. I thought I'd mention it because it's a really compile hard thing to do and I thought that was not worthy. Enemies aren't very strong. It seemed like maybe we weren't supposed to actually go to leanbox immediately. How about that? Seems that the Grandish Sword, uh, named after the series of the same name, is actually fairly good on Falcon. So, although our formation is rather lackluster at the moment, we'll have to do something about that. So, Marvelous AQL. And move her about here. Swap her with Nebgear. There, that's better. Now then. Let's beat them up. It's my turn. I always get that weirdly strange feeling that if I actually tried Senran Kagura, which is uh, the game that uh, Marvelous AQL is actually based on, I'd probably actually like it. Although, given the, the way they are actually advertised, I'm not sure I'd be really fine with that. Among other, I got really good reviews for their Beach Splash game, which has something of a Splatoon bent, apparently. But I don't know, I haven't gotten around to it. I may get desperate enough at some point. Uh, hey, uh, Lady Magic? Let's stop. I mean, killing everyone in the world is pretty not cool, you know? Yeah, a healthy evil organization needs people to be alive so they can toil away for them to... And like... The Deity of Sin has already revived, so we don't have to be so proactive, right? Our goddess desires the destruction of everything. Uh, sure, but like I've been trying to say, that's kinda extreme. Don't you agree, uh, ma'am? Our goddess will destroy us soon. It is simply a matter of time before death comes to all things. Come on! If you die, then all the crap I've done gets flushed right down the toilet! Stop pushing it, you chump! This isn't the same magic as before, you. Shut up, rat! You don't even know the half of what I had to give up, or what I went through for her! I see. If you cannot abide by my will, or the will of our goddess, then I will end your pain now. <laughs> Are you serious? You defy even the grace of being given a painless end. As I thought, you are of no use to me now. No! No way! There's no way my boss could possibly be this cruel! Yo, wait up, you! Having trouble with your employees? Underling was crying, wasn't she? Don't bully the weak and helpless! 
Even the lowest of the low have emotions and feels and stuff. CPUs, what brings you here? Our desire to stop you, of course. I cannot stand idly by while you threaten my beautiful lean box. And we still haven't paid you back properly for last time. I see. So you have come to die. Allow me to grant that wish. Huh. Pretty bold of you to boast after being defeated by us before. This form was blessed by our goddess. You will prove to be no challenge whatsoever. Ooh! In my industry, they call that the Boastful Villain's Final Words flag. Our victory is assured! I fought and got stronger all because I lost to you. Let me show you how far I've come by defeating you! None can survive a strike from my Here blade! I come. And there we go, dealing with CFW magic. A couple of interesting things in the previous... Uh, event, namely that underling is starting to have second thought about this whole thing, so that's actually rather interesting. And the funny thing about that is that CFW Magic is actually completely loyal to R4, being that she actually embodies the fangirl aspect of the... Uh, how can I say... Ah, whatever. Anyhow, so based on that, also the fact that she kind of looks like an older version of Underling somewhat actually makes this rather interesting. Hmm, she's gonna make this difficult, is she? I hope I won't end up having to constantly use Nebgear to uh, actually finish her off, that would be annoying. Alright, time to try out Offensive Kampa. Let's do this. Hmm, wasn't so bad. Howie! Howie! Anip Gear can heal herself. Falcom hmm. really gets things done, does she? Anyhow. I don't think we've actually seen that move before. That was pretty sweet. Wow, that was a lot of damage, wow. So let's see, can we actually do something about that? Kampa's CPR, first aid... Seriously Kampa, you don't have an 80% heal? What's wrong with you? Oh well. Ow. Might actually be better off having her defend than the other sporting her. Because for some reason, magic seems intent on killing her. Owie! Okay, that won't be enough. We're gonna have to use an item. Is this it? I won't lose. I'll use you down with this. Help you, Tile. Oops. I thought you 
Ah oui. Well, at least come back and get her back up. Or an gear can just do it. That works too. It feels like a waste. But I'll use it either. Leave it to me. Okay, let's go. Go, Marvy! Man, Ebgear can heal her, I don't care. Yep, Adult Falcom really gets things done, does she? Whoops. Didn't want to turn off HDD, but sounds like it's not much of a choice now. Healing powers. Come to me. Defy me and perish. Oh lovely. Uh, I'll do my best. Such is your uh, thing. Is good. Uh, Friggin' uh, desperation. Kampa, help me out a bit. The thing about this is that she seems to debuff everybody. That's why I'm having so much trouble with actually doing anything. Now then. Time to go back on the offensive. At least she doesn't recover that much, so that's good. Let's see, who needs healing? Yep, her and Marvy, alright. So much for offensive Kampa, huh? annoying when pretty much everybody actually needs healing. Still think this move is way awesome. Mm, won't be able to do much with just Futo Meki. But she can heal Falcon. Ow. Guess there wasn't much point to that anyway. So I can still make this. I thought I was gonna die there. Or the deity of death. It's my turn. Oh. 
Really need to move them a little closer so Kampa can actually yield both. Or manage to get into range of two Apocalypse thingy. Both could potentially work. By far the hardest fight I've had since a heck of a while. Whoopsie! Let's go! Yep, there's no way Nebgear could actually survive that. Probably because she knew that she was actually destroyer. Heck yeah, you do. Oh, new attack sniping shot for Uni. Oh, but it's an assist skill. I don't really care. Huh. New moves for Ram and Ram. I thought we had the skills for everybody by now. Game set crash. We rule. How unfortunate for you. This is not the result you were hoping for, was it? My defeat means nothing in the end. All will kneel before our goddess. Stop being so melodramatic! Hurry up and turn to dust, or particles, or whatever you do. I will be waiting for you on the other side. For you will be sure to follow shortly. We'll do all we can to prevent it. Yes, we will stop the deity of sin, no matter what it may take. There we are, that's the full set of the various uh, Four Felons uh, processors. So there's an event in Loi, let's have a look. Captain Thunder! My adult was on fire! I was pushed into a river! There are so many life sims out there. Never give up on life. Hmm. And now for the event in Planetoon. The Four Felons have been defeated. Yes, all that remains is beating the stuffing out of the final boss. So, any updates on the Deity of Sin's movements? Has she finished fusing to the graveyard already? Slowly but surely, she is inching closer to completing her fusion. Estimates indicate that over half of the graveyard is now under her direct control. Stepping into the game industry graveyard will be like stepping into her body. Expect a lot of resistance. Not like we have any other choice. Yuppers! We gotta do this no matter what. Such brave CPUs. No need to hype ourselves up now. It's late, so we better wait until tomorrow morning to head off. Aw, oh, tomorrow? No way am I going to be able to sleep with this level of tension. Yeah, totally. Jeez, you just had to go and rain on our parade, huh? But if you don't go to sleep, your body will be really tired and slow tomorrow. Oh, I got just the ticket. Pow! Games! They're fun and they relieve stress for a good night's log sawing. Three birds, one rock. Huh. Even though it's coming from Neptune, that's not a terrible idea, actually. But since 
We're at my house. We're gonna use my ultimate Planetune game console. Wait, if we're playing together, we need party games. Louis' console is built entirely around those. Such shallow reasoning. All you do is wave sticks at the screen with your controller. What? For the greatest of all party games, one needs only play each party, the greatest game Leanbox ever made. We even contracted a famous manga artist to handle the unique character designs and... You're kidding me! Good art doesn't matter if the game's on a console that crashes whenever you turn it on. If we're making comparisons, then nothing beats Last Station. Our lineup covers every genre under the sun. Look at all our games. Look! My console has full network features, so we can challenge gamers worldwide. Poser. Indeed. Leanbox brought online gaming services into the mainstream with far greater success than anyone else. And Louis did motion controls before either of you want to be hacked. Need I remind you that we offer our online services free of charge? Ahem, <clears throat> free! Do you understand? Which land was it again that charges people to log into some pretty unreliable servers? Hmm? And I'm pretty sure most of a certain someone's motion control games were labeled shovelware. Why, compared to those sad sacks, Last Station's console only does everything. I dare you to say that shit to my face, you pigtailed brat. Meh. Let's just use mine. How dare you speak ill of my precious console? This means war. A war of the consoles! What are you playing, Uni? Oh, this is a hunting game. You play with friends and hunt giant monsters in a vaguely realistic manner. Didn't your last console make a big splash with some kind of sci-fi online game? It's kind of similar. Oh, I see. That sounds neat. I know, right? So, I mean, if you really want, maybe I'll play this with you. Goodness, really? Thanks! How about we all play? What do you say, Rom? Ram? Yeah! I wanna! Uh, I guess if you're begging... Yippee! So, Uni... What other games are big in Last Station right now? Hmm. Well, there's another game like this one where you're some kind of freedom warrior or something. Louis' biggest game is obviously Pocketed Monstrosities. You catch and force monsters to kill each other. Yay! Uh-huh. I got a psycho monstrosity recently that was rated 5V. No way! Ugh, that's so lame. I want one that awesome. Um... I can trade you the parents I used to make it. They're both rated 4V. Then you can make one. Whoa, awesome! Ram, I love you times infinity! How about Planetune? Anything making waves? Not waves, but we did give this one game a 60 million credit budget to make a realistic sandbox type game. Working as a forklift operator and using my in-game pay to buy trinkets from vending machines was so fun! Huh. Right. Sounds like a hardcore sim. Are they ever going to stop arguing? We only have the one TV, so I think it's fair to settle it with a game of rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. No need to argue that much over games. But this is relaxing in its own way. All thanks to games. Yep. Arguing over your favorite games, which console is the best, it's all in good fun. Let's hurry up and bring peace back to our world, so people can argue over trivial stuff like that again. Those young ones are something else. Yes, but you cannot question the joy present in their faces. The same seems to go for you, too. No doubt. Just a short while ago, you wore such a grim expression all the time. I decided to no longer allow myself to focus on the worst-case scenario, and instead, trust those girls. Very wise. 
I believe they have what it takes to bring peace back to this world. What a shame, though. I was looking forward to scolding you if you were going to mope again, Eastwar. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Don't let them get to you. Some of us are more sarcastic than others, apparently. But if this kind of conversation is the result, why not enjoy it for the rest of the night? With all we've been through in our lives, a few days is nowhere near enough to discuss it all. Yes, just so we give ourselves enough time to rest as well. Oh, uh, that's nice. Now to get ready for the big finale. And boy are there a ton of stuff. I'm not even sure we're going to be able to finish all this. Oh well. So a message from Shakiko. Despite the situation, my deadline hasn't changed. If game industry ends, the work I'm doing is going to go to waste. How about that? Hot blood Merc. Lady Vert. I have faith in you. So please, come back safe. Saturn Shiro. Tennis, karaoke, chasing skirts and visiting clubs. You've got to have something better to do. I'll teach you by using my fist of fury on your loins. Ouch. So the BK Tekken deity, huh? So ultimate weapon for Tekken, apparently. Kakaru. This is my special attack. Yeah. Huh? My voice? It's trailing off. Sorry, it can be accurately portrayed via unvoiced text. Well, I couldn't do it either. <laughs> Mr. Billy. Ninja, Samurai. I'm having a house party. I'll be dressed as my favorite ninja hero. Let me give you a plan that'll uh, let you join me. Haha. <laughs> so ultimate weapon for Marvy, it seems. Do you from tomorrow said that? You said, why don't I give you a plan? So here it is. Angel Feather. Hmm. Keeper. I found a dusty old box. Not sure what it is. It's not in my inventory log. Kinda creepy. Here, just take it. Magical Twins. Hmm. Newbie Hunter. I found a way to make an awesome weapon. There's no, but there's no way I can collect the materials for it. Oh well, I'll give you this plan. So, planned Ren Dragon Slayer. And Herohei. Isn't this the screenshot my desktop? I don't remember posting a cap of my desktop. Must be some mistake. Hmm, hope you didn't have any naughty pictures on it. So, events in Planetune. Message from Nebgear. I made a processor unit for Neptune. I hope she likes it. Hmm, she should. Histy gave me this. I'll just tweak it a little. Yay! Processor unit for Neptune! I wonder what the weather will be like today. Huh? What's Histoire's upset about? D bag. That totally sucked, bro Hines. But there's no turning back now. Just got to keep running. Nap Fan Club Chairman. I'm going to make everyone a member of the Nap Nap Fan Club. Just give me like 10 years. First, I'll make the four felons into fans. If everyone's a Nap Fan, world peace is assured. Yay! Nap Fan Club Vice Chairman. I called the club gathering for all our members a while back. Of course, the required attire was a hoodie dress. That really was a fun event. Come on everyone, let's step net. I doubt I could end the episode on a better line, but whatever. <laughs> let's continue. Ra! Aya! <sighs> the four felons in R4. There's no way our CPUs will lose to them. 2D dude. I'll study hard. Study hard and be a scientist. 
I'll create a device to bring the 2D world to me. Chiba. With the world in chaos, now is the time to repay the kindness bestowed by the CPUs. Sertoichi. I can let the four felons get away with this. If I only had more power. I'm so pathetic and weak. Glasses girl. Take care of your eyes. Play games in a well lit area. And stay at least a hundred yards away. Wow, those are some great glasses you've got to do that. Veteran creator, complete. The new series is complete, I'll announce it a little more later. Please stay tuned. With R4 back, I'm sure that everyone is anxious. But learn to have fun and get negativity out of your mind. So we've got time for one more event and I think that's gonna be pretty much it. Okie dokie. Time to worky worky all fasty fasty so I can play. Awesome, done with the paperwork. Check out how fast I've gotten at putting uh, my big CPU stamp all over these things. Pow, 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 pow! Inconceivable! Neptune is actually working! My tactics succeeded. I have long been waiting for the day to come when I see Neptune working of her own accord. But she's going pretty fast. I hope she isn't overdoing it. You may have a point. This isn't like Neptune at all. I should feel joyous at watching our CPU do our job, or at least expect it as normal, but this is unusual. Have I made a horrible mistake? No, no, you didn't do anything wrong. I'll go have a talk with her, okay? I see, I would appreciate that. Um, hi Neptune. Oh, what the, what's the rub, Nep Jr? I'm very sorry to bother you, but are you feeling okay? I guess I do. Or maybe I don't. Why? Histoire was telling me that she sort of regrets what she said the other day. You don't have to work so hard. Hold die time, knave. I recall the one you know as Histoire saying some stuff, but this is not why I work as such. There's some other reason. Yeah, well, it's a bit embarrassing for me to say, but... Please tell me, I'm worried about you. There must be a reason why you're actually trying to work now. Meetings that wasn't as kind of comment as you me thinks it was. Oh my, this was a heck of a tongue, tongue twister. But uh, anyway, I've known for a while that I'm not the best role model of a sister or CPU. What do you mean? Noir and Blonde work and teach their tiny clones all sort of stuff. But I don't do anything like that with you. I kinda thought if things didn't change soon, you'd end up hating me. But I could never hate you. I know, but the thought still made me flip out. It's sort of like how a parent feels about their kid's boobs growing. Uh, no it doesn't. Uh huh, I'm happy to hear that, but it defeats the purpose if your actions are making me worry, you know. Oh, yeah, you have a point. I mean, I really love seeing how much you care about me. Uh, I accidentally mashed through that last line. Never mind, it wasn't important. How about I help you? Nah, don't worry about it, I'm all over this. It'll be more fun if we work together, and if we finish early, that means we have more time to play, right? A diligent sister is neat, but I like my big sister who thinks playing with me is the most important duty of all. Well said, Nep Jr. Alright, let's go up this stage and push some papers. Yeah! And I'm afraid that's gonna be it for the time being. Thank you for watching everyone. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, please leave a comment below. And that was the Great Pumpkin. You'll have a pleasant time now. Bye bye!